Solomon the Chibude. Do here by Solomon the Swear. That's the evidence that shall give. Touching the matter before this commission of inquiry, let me to search at 5th May 2017. It, the title of the land is 369, plot number 10. Mm. Whether or not this option to buy the land had been given to the lawful occupants. Mr. Katerega told me he got his title in January and he, the chances we are there for those who wanted to buy out themselves. What would be your view as a member of parliament uh, if somebody bought a transaction that uh, entered into a transaction that violated the law? To me, I cannot judge that because I'm asking you your view as a member of parliament. My view is that there pa are perhaps we might hold you to a higher standard. There, there are other options. Other people. There are other options, my lord, right. in that law. Okay. Let, it let does me not only provide for one. And five says the party to whom an offer is made shall within three months after receipt of the offer either refuse the offer or make a response. In other words, this this uh, process, as you have said, is mandatory. Uh, and I'm just asking you whether you wouldn't have, before you bought, made sure that this process had been complied with in order for the for the parties to be legal. My Lord, I think in my own right, Mm. as the willing buyer my interest of buying Vivanja holders mm. was known in any way to hurt them mm. or to buy and keep them Dixon was well and uh, her story was horrendous mm. and unfortunately it involved you her story was horrendous. Uh, she told us how her husband was forced to hide from you on several occasions while you were hunting for him. Uh, was forced, was eventually arrested, apparently on your orders or by people who you had brought to the land, uh, various uh, police or military personnel. Incidentally, these various police or military personnel seem to be resident in your house, which you bought from Mr. Karega. Her husband was beaten up and died shortly thereafter. Uh, just before he died, and just before he was arrested, despite the fact that he was, uh, I mean, after he had been beaten and he was in great pain, her husband, uh, on hearing that you are looking for him, even in great pain, was forced to spend the night in the bushes. And no longer there. This is not evidence of somebody who is occupy, who is respecting the right of security of occupancy. This is actually completely contrary. I want to hear what your response is. Oh, thank you, my lord. In the first place, I don't know any day that I was looking for Waswa. The no, if you if it was a, there was such a title of government, would that would it mean that when Honorable Chibule is a minister of water, natural resources and environment, he would walk away with the with the with the land, with the tables, with the computers because they have minister of state? A title is a title. Yes. Are you saying the title and the person are the same? No. Um, what I was saying, my lord, is that human beings, those title holders, have been individuals. In this case of yes, Namaste, they, they have been human beings. Human beings. Yes, they right. have Thank been you. human beings. Thank yes. you, my lord. And individuals for that reason. In this case, I don't explain much about the Namaste of Uganda because they are not elected that we get to know them. They are not appointed. They come through a process which I'm not aware of what comes with that office. That is my humble appeal, my lord. Mr. Minister, 
Yes. I'm personally surprised. Mm. Extremely surprised. That you're a member of parliament, a constituency which is in the region of Buganda, and you are not aware at all, not even taking the trouble to understand the culture of this region. I was not right to say that I don't know Namaste because of those reasons I gave. But the, the truth of the matter is that I don't know the lineage of how they come. I cannot explain the, the, by name who becomes the Namaste and when.